the people. We're all, we're all brothers. We're all British we're all, people. We're all together. We're all born under this flag. We was all born under this flag. And we'll live in this flag. And if you forever. stop this flag, what happens next? Which flag's next? Yeah. We're here today to support the people of Northern Ireland who ridiculously are having their flag, our flag, the country, the flag of this nation, taken down off public buildings. This is purely unpolitical and we're just in here to show support for our brothers and sisters in Northern Ireland. I noticed there's obviously no political banners or uh, placards, so this is purely just a uh, support of the Union flag, would that be correct? This is a show of support because we're patriotic people and we want to support our brothers and sisters, British people of Northern Ireland. We're here today to show the people of Ulster that they're not stood alone with the removal of the Union flag from one of our buildings in one of our countries, the capital city of Northern Ireland. Could you imagine Washington taking the Stars and Stripes off one of their civic buildings? Could you imagine Istanbul taking the Turkish flag off one of their buildings without riots in the street? No, you couldn't. So far in Ulster, there's been lots of peaceful protests. Those peaceful protests, have ended, some of them have ended in violence. Not through the loyalists wanting to participate in violence, but through being attacked by Republican scum. And while the PNS, PNSI stand by for using water cannon and rubber bullets on British citizens, something they wouldn't even do in the riots here, when we had immigrants running around the streets, they do it to British citizens once again in the province and standing by and having a couple of Land Rovers stood watching Republican scum throw golf balls, bricks and petrol bombs at our people. If you attack somebody, they will react. Now, we all want these protests to be peaceful. Violence just plays into Sinn Féin's hands. But I'll say this for those people that say violence doesn't get you anywhere. Bullets! For 30 years, they have killed and maimed our citizens and our soldiers, and they know that threat of violence is getting them the appeasement that they want. There is no royal police force in Ulster anymore. Children and fucking children, it's on me. They're stopping our parades, they're stopping our culture. They want the royal taken out of the hospitals. How long before they want Britain out of Ireland altogether, which is their end goal. And they will get it if we don't wake up and do something about it. They're doing it by stealth through that threat of violence because they're scared to death of upsetting the Republicans. So they will say that peaceful protest is damaging the peace process. Yet bombs in Londonderry, Belfast, killing the police officers, killing the soldiers, is that not affecting the fucking people? Fuck bloody Sunday, where's our inquiries? Yeah, yeah. Where's our inquiries? Yeah, yeah. Loads British of British have died. Where's our inquiries? Where's Fuck bloody Sunday? Victim. They're yeah, even going to have a them. memorial at Sorry. the base no, for the IRA scum. A memorial on British soil for people that kill British people. Are they going to build one in London for the Taliban in a few years? I think not. <laughs> the people of Ulster must know they will not stand alone. So we will take this protest. There may only be a, anything what, up to 100 of us today. But we will take this round this country, right to the seat of our government, to Parliament, on PM's question time, with the people of Ulster and the people of the mainland will march for our flag to be reinstated at Belfast City Hall. Yeah! 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 Yeah!